Much peace to you guys and welcome. Today I want to speak about mastering the inner world and how it attracts your outer reality. Now we need to understand that what is happening within us is so important and I want to speak about responsibility, okay? So let's say that something negative happens to you. You don't have to react to that thing, okay? You have to go instead within yourself and question if it triggers you or not, okay? So. I'm seeing that the most negative thing may happen to us, but the more that we learn to take responsibility for our own inner world, is the more that we have the opportunity to change what is happening also outside of ourselves. So in essence, I believe that life and the universe is always responding to you. It is always responding to your energy and your vibration. And I'm realizing that our thoughts, they are actually really powerful. They have the power to co-create the reality that we are a vibrational man too and I'm seeing that the more that I'm raising my frequency the more that I'm raising my vibration is the more that the universe actually responds to me so in essence as within so without your inner world attracts your outer world and this is actually the law of attraction okay this is what we need to understand about the law of attraction that we don't get what we want we get what we are a vibrational match to so take full responsibility for what is happening within yourself that is how how to co-create the life that you want to experience and this is related to emotion this is related to your thoughts and this is related to your action okay to your actions so these three things are super crucial in manifesting the life that you want to experience okay so i'm seeing that sometimes we get into a low vibration and that is the state of auto vibrational alignment okay so it means that when we are aligned we are connected to a higher source of consciousness but when we are disconnected we are in resistance so my my suggestion to you is question what your resistance is because your resistance your resistance tells you a lot about your fears your resistance tells you a lot about your belief systems maybe it tells you where you need to work on in order to step back into vibrational alignment so vibrational alignment is nothing more than being fully connected to what you feel it's about stepping into the vibration of love okay so <clears throat> Vibrational alignment means nothing more than being connected to the flow of life. And if you really want to manifest something into your own life, you gotta step into your own flow. You gotta step into that movement, into that rhythm of life, because I believe that everything is constantly changing. And also your inner world is evolving. Your inner world is also changing. And the more that you are taking responsibility and the more that you are stepping into your soul evolution, is the more that you also enter the flow state, is the more that you have the opportunity to rediscover yourself at a more harmonious level, is the more that you have the opportunity to begin co-creating the life that you want to experience, okay? So the law of attraction is about the thought, the feeling, and the action. Okay, the more that you master these three things is the more that you master your reality, is the more that you have the opportunity to attract a higher frequency into your own life. And it's also about the law of compensation. Okay, it means that the more that you do something is the more that the universe will give you something in return. Okay, so cause and effect, compensation. My suggestion is if you want to manifest the life that you want to experience, go ahead and offer your energy into the world. That is actually such a powerful thing to do. That is how to master the law of attraction we always want to only mm, receive but it's also about giving okay so giving and receiving they are actually interconnected so offer your energy into the world offer your talents into the world offer your gifts and you will see that the universe will actually respond to you so in essence it's all about the consciousness of expressing your inner world into the world okay it's it's about taking full responsibility for what is happening within so you can master what is happening without so in essence it's all happening in relationship with you i believe that the more that we master the law of attraction is the more that we realize that we have the power to co-create and manifest anything that we desire but it all starts with taking responsibility for the thought the feeling and the action
okay? So realize that the universe always responds to you and the universe gives you what you are a vibrational match to. You may not always experience what you want, but you experience what you are a vibrational match to. And the more that you increase your frequency, the more that you increase your vibe, is the more that the universe will actually match circum circumstances in a positive way. So in essence, it's all about what is happening within yourself. It's all about taking responsibility for what what you are experiencing within yourself okay so your outer world is your mm, reflection okay your outer world is your reflection the outer world is only or a reflection of the inner world and again the more that we change what is happening inside is the more that the outer world will also respond okay so realize that in a way, the universe is conscious and the universe is always offering you experiences for your soul's best evolution. You also need to trust the process. And even if sometimes it's, if it's not perfect, you are still where you need to be. You are where you need to be. This is what I'm realizing in my own journey that maybe I cannot even go wrong, but sometimes it looks like it's painful. Sometimes it looks like it's not perfect. But what I'm realizing is the fact that in the imperfection we can always find perfection so we are perfect in our imperfections and we are at the right moment and at the right time all that we need to do is actually acknowledge this deeper truth is to acknowledge the fact that the universe is not happening to us the universe is happening for us and each moment is an opportunity for your soul soul's best evolution each moment is an opportunity for you to offer something into the world each moment is an opportunity for you to become your best version, okay? So realize that you can always step into the vibration of flow. You can always step into the vibration of opening your heart to what you want to experience. Because I believe that what you want to experience is actually available. Anything that you desire is available in the present moment. All that you gotta do is actually learn to match the frequency of your own desired thing. And you will see how you will have the power to actually attract it instantaneously into your own life. I believe that in a higher dimensional level of consciousness, manifestation may be instant. Okay, so what we think about, we have the opportunity to attract right now into our own this, uh, reality. Okay, so in essence, go within and see what is happening within yourself. I believe that this is actually super important. The more that you master what is happening within, is the more that you will master what is happening without. Okay, so trust your inner world, trust your intuition, trust the fact that you have the opportunity to raise your vibration in each moment. Okay. So yeah, this was today's message about the fact that your inner world attracts your outer world. And this is actually the law of attraction. Whatever we are experiencing inside is what we are attracting outside. Okay, so raise your frequency. Meditation may be good. Going into nature may be good. Stepping into a healthy creative process may be good questioning your thoughts okay because your thoughts are always influencing your vibration and there are high vibrational thoughts and there are low vibrational thoughts your job is to catch the low vibrational thought and step it into a higher frequency step it into a higher level of awareness okay so realize that you are the co-creator of your own reality and again the more that you are shifting your mind is the more that you are shifting your world it's all interconnected with what you are experiencing within yourself and in a way maybe you you cannot control everything you don't need to control everything but you have to take responsibility for what is happening within yourself you can always control the the, the perception that you have within yourself maybe you cannot control outer circumstances but you have the opportunity to change your inner world so you can uh, really not be attached to the outer circumstance anymore okay so maybe it's all about the inner world maybe it's all about how you choose to view it because how you perceive it you actually receive it
okay so thanks so much for watching guys and this was today's message about realizing that your inner world attracts your outer world much peace to everybody and if you're into my youtube channel feel free to subscribe leave a comment that is appreciated and also if you wish, wish to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one level and get to expand your spiritual nature feel free to contact me at my email address in the description below i love you so much much peace and like always see you on what is coming up next. Bye-bye.